Back at E3 2021, the sequel to Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Sparks of Hope, was announced, and more info on the game came out recently, making me more interested. The original crossover had a Donkey Kong adventure as the main part of its season pass, and knowing Ubisoft, the upcoming game would also get a season pass, seeing as there's a gold edition. So, guessing it'll be a while before the DLC is unveiled, I thought I'd brainstorm the possibilities of what said content could be. These are just my suggestions, as not all of these will happen, and maybe none of them will. Who knows? Go catch some stars so they can shine down on you as we take off in space. Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and here are my top 5 ideas for the Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope Season Pass. Star Link and Star Fox For those unaware, the Mario and Rabbids franchises wasn't the only crossover between Nintendo and Ubisoft, as the Switch version of this recent-ish original had Star Fox content. That got me thinking that if we don't get any new crossovers between the two companies, why not have the two star journeys joined together for a mega crossover, despite an awkward meeting between everyone? Fox already has a gun and dash attack, as seen in Smash Brothers, and he plus Rabid Rosalina and one Starlink character would make a great team as they are like the Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel or not. Also, imagine a rabid wolf being made as a mid-boss and a boss could be a rabid version of the Guardian or Andross. This might sound a little beyond ambitious in order for it to happen, which is why this idea is so low on the list, and while the chances here are tiny, my next entries have higher probabilities of becoming real. Yoshi's Island since the game's reveal, there was no sign of Yoshi or his rabid counterpart, and we questioned why. One year later, the Big N had revealed that, quote, they decided nine heroes. Even if it's not the reason we expected, they can make a comeback, whether it be on their own adventure or reunion for a possible third installment of the collaboration franchise in 2027. Believing the former is more likely and the latter hasn't been confirmed yet, Yoshi had events on his island many times, leaving some artistic opportunities. In addition, we don't know if Bowser Jr. will return, and knowing he and Baby Bowser aren't so different, the young version of the Koopa King could make a nice alternative, and instead of the Baby Plumbers, we could have Poochie be the third hero, and perhaps play as different colored Yoshis for a tiny bit of extra flair. If we don't see the Dino Duo soon, we'd go snacking as much as they do. WarioWare Wario had been a thing along with Bwaluigi as stronger versions of other Rabbids with more health, though there is an occasion where they can be so much more. Wario has a ginormous collection of microgames, and the Rabbids are known for getting into everything, meaning they must be meant to interact with one another, right? Said microgames can be part of world exploration or battles within the levels. The Garlic Club Eater also has many pals that could potentially be allies or enemies depending on their traits as their normal selves and or rabid clones. In terms of who the team would consist of, Wario and Boario are obvious, and acknowledging the lack of Waluigi's whereabouts in WarioWare, Boaluigi should take the remaining spot, and it'd be nice to play as characters who were originally adversaries. This is such a golden opportunity that could be taken figuratively and literally, so not going for it could lead to making fool's gold, and nobody wants that. Luigi's Mansion A majority of the time, it's been about Mario, as he had the spotlight countless times, yet the exception to that is in the series where the green bro has to go ghost hunting. We've already seen booze and ghost rabbits, so bringing them back should be no trouble at all, and even if we don't see Phantom again, a King Boo would be a nice boss. Who would be the team members? Well, should 2023 be another year of Luigi, the squad could consist of Luigi, Gooigi, and Rabbid Luigi as an excellent way to celebrate the anniversary, and Egad, or a Rabbid equivalent of his, 
would need a role in helping capture the meddling ghouls. Furthermore, a rabbity horror version of a Nintendo console would be nifty to see as a communication device as you progress. The ghosts won't catch themselves, meaning we have to make the Luigis as lucky as leprechauns in order for a spooky situation like this one to be brought to life. Various 3D Mario Games As you could already tell, the game is getting lots of Mario Galaxy in it, and I figure instead of just one other 3D Mario game, how about all of them, because there aren't that many. Want more convincing information about how this can actually happen? Mario Galaxy 2 did recreate Womp Fortress from Mario 64, and a particular secret stage from Mario Sunshine. Wasn't sure what to do regarding 3D Land and 3D World until I remembered those games had stages based on stuff from the Galaxy games. The Moon Kingdom in Mario Odyssey had purple star bit coins and graffiti of Rosalina, and if we considered Bowser's Fury as its own game, it's still worth a try as it's basically Sunshine, 3D World, and Odyssey rolled into one. Not sure who'd be the new hero, yet seeing how there are rabified Toads and Lumas, Piantas could also get the same treatment, and same for the enemies and bosses, and the final boss could be a dry Mega Dragon Bowser to avoid a Bowser Bowser paradox, and keep him as the main baddie at the same time. Yep, all of that is why a huge throwback like this is why it's the best idea for the season pass of the game. Want the fiction to spread? Then please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. Don't forget to also comment below and follow me on Instagram for teasers and thumbnail previews of future YouTube videos. Thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you again, and have a good night-o!